All right, welcome to lesson uh, 9.3.1. This is a systems of inequalities. Now, you guys remember doing systems of equations uh, where you did graphing of those, you did the substitution method, you did the elimination method, both the simple elimination and also the elimination method. So, uh, bringing us back to that, except now we're talking about, instead of just equations, we're talking about inequalities. So, let's get started with our first one here. Um, here is our inequality. Let's just kind of skip right down to it. Here is our systems of inequalities where y is less than or equal to negative x plus 5 and y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 1. If you remember back from chapter 7, you learned how to graph each of these, um, how to take these linear equations and graph them. So let's do that. And that would be down here where y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 1. So you can see that negative 1 is the intercept and that the slope is up two and over three. So you can kind of see how that is graphed right there. It's a dotted line because there's no equal sign and y is greater so we shade above the line. Okay, moving over to the other one then. Here is my y is less than or equal to negative x plus five so it crosses up here at five. It's a negative one x so it goes down one over one down one over one. And then if I, um, it's got a solid line because the y has an equal sign on there and it's shaded <coughs> below the line because it's y is less than. So now if I line up these xy coordinates just perfectly here, and if I graph those both on the same set of graphs here, the question becomes, what is the solution set? Well, obviously this portion where nothing is shaded is not the solution set. The yellow portion up here uh, is a solution set to this one, but it is not a solution set to this one. The kind of what looks like to me a little lighter green section down here is a solution set to the bottom one, but not to the top one. So I think you can clearly see the solution set to both is this kind of darker green or darker shaded area right over here. That is the area that both of them are shaded. So I, I think you can clearly see now on a graph how that would work. Let's move on. All right, so here are two, um, two equations. Y is less than X plus 2, so let's graph that one. It's going to cross my intercept at positive 2, and it's going to have a positive slope going up, and it'll be a dotted line. So if we graph that, it would look something like so. And you can see that. Because Y is less than, we shade below. Okay, so then the second one, y is less than or equal to 10 minus 3 fourths x. I actually don't like this because it's not put into slope intercept form. So let's put it that way and let's just reverse these two numbers. The slope is a negative 3 fourths x and the y intercept is a positive 10. So it starts up here, it goes down 3 over 4, and so it makes a line going this way. Then y is less than that, so we're going to shade below it. So let's do that. And right there, so you can see it goes down 3 over 4, and there's the green part. So again, this clearly is not our solution set. This is solutions to the top equation, but not the second. And this is a solution to the second one, but not the first one. And down here are solutions to both of them. So hopefully that makes sense. Obviously, they were showing it right there, how you graph the two of those. And you can clearly see what the solution set for those would be right there. All right, moving on. <clears throat> now we're getting into uh, a systems of equations, but they're not just linear equations. Okay, sometimes we're talking about quadratic equations. By the way, if you want to graph a quadratic equation, uh, my advice to you is to make a table generally make a negative 5 to a positive 5 table. So start with numbers negative 5 for x and go up to positive 5. So you can kind of clearly see what the parabola would look like for your quadratic equations. And then this one here is a linear equation. So it, there's no y-intercept entered here, so you know that that's a plus 0 or right here. Slope is 2 thirds, so up 2 and over 3, so that clearly makes sense right there. This one here is y is less than x squared, so they've already graphed that one for you, so you can see what that would look like. And now the question is, you need to come up with and graph this one. Okay, so pause the video for a moment, 
and graph this one where you think it would be. All right, I'm assuming you've now paused the video and graphed it. So the first one here, the y is less than this whole x squared would be y is less than, so it's everything down shaded down below of the parabola here. So it kind of covers all these areas here, it just doesn't cover these two inside areas. And then the second one, y is greater than 2 thirds x. Well, y is greater than means we shade above the line. So remember this one was not shaded from the parabola. But above the line here, this one was, and this one was, so our solution set would be over here, and would be over here. And to kind of show that, oh, that's just, that's going really well for me, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh, lovely. There we go. All right, so you can clearly see it was shaded above. So our solution set where both of these were shaded are the two outside sections here. Hopefully that makes good sense to you. Let's move on. Now, here's what I want you to do with this one, okay? I want you to take these three here. They're already kind of graphed for you, so you can just sketch a graph. You don't need some neat, well-done, neat graph. Just sketch a quick graph on those. And then I want you to graph or shade in the areas that are the solution sets to both of these. You can see, though, what's happening here is they're both greater than here. Here, one is greater, one is less than, and over here, they're both less than. So we're kind of giving you an idea of what happens to the different shaded areas as we change those signs. So please pause the video here and shade in these three graphs so you have an idea of what's happening. Go ahead and pause it. All right, I'm assuming you've paused it and you've graphed it. So now, down here, that's just the same thing written all over. So hopefully you've shaded these things. So let's talk about these. Y is greater than. So greater than means it's shaded above. So the inside of this is shaded. And the other one, Y is greater than two-thirds, so it's above the line. So this section right here would be your shaded portion. The second one, Y is greater than. So again, we're shading the inside of the parabola here. Second one, though, is Y is less than two-thirds, so it means it's below the line. So the only part that would be shaded by both would be this little interior portion right here. Third one, y is less than, so again that gets us back to the original one where we shade the outside of this one, and then y is less than two-thirds. Well, that's everything down below here, but we would not shade this one because that's not shaded for the first one. So for the third one, all of this area would be shaded right down here. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Moving on. Here's what I want you to do. First of all, ignore this stuff down here. It's just rewriting this up here. So I don't know why that was necessary, but that's all right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put in what the missing information for each of these is. We have five lines up here. This line here correlates with one of these. This line here correlates with one of these. So I want you to fill in the missing information here is what I'm looking for you to do. So go ahead and pause the video and fill in the inf missing information there for that. All right, you should have paused that. You can show that to me when you come to school. That is all we have for you today. Um, you guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow in class.